All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. This is Bruce at VeloxPro. If you can hear me and see my screen, please type yes in the questions and we'll get started. All right, thank you. Okay, good morning, everybody. All right, so <clears throat> uh, let's take a look here. Um, uh, there's the... Um, uh, handouts folder uh, there uh, in the GoToWebinar software and I uh, just want to um, uh, let you guys know about that. There's a few PDFs in there. There is the uh, bookmap user guide for 5.0 uh, and then the bookmap HFT intro uh, guide as well as uh, I, I keep uh, uploading the uh, CME rule 575 uh, PDF as well. Uh, because uh, it gives insight to exactly what's going on in these markets today uh, and uh, how Bookmap visualizes a lot of the information that is in that rule. Uh, a lot of the uh, spoofing type of action, flipping of the book, um, and um, uh, a lot of uh, other phenomena that is uh, uh, considered um, uh, illegal now. Um, and uh, Bookmap uh, helps visualize uh, this kind of behavior uh, you can see it right in the book, okay? So uh, it's very topical. It's being defined right now uh, in uh, in the courts. Uh, you'll see articles, uh, and there have been several articles about it in the last few years, and you will continue to see uh, articles about it. So uh, that as, as well as the uh, Bookmap User Guide, or I'm sorry, the Bookmap HFT uh, Intro Guide uh, will be very helpful for you, all right? Uh, so uh, those are a few of the few of the free resources. I'm going to get into some others here, but let's uh, first go through uh, learning order flow and book map here uh, today. And the uh, risk disclaimer is uh, trading futures and options on futures involve substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information at bookmap.com. And then those free um, uh, resources. Okay, so once you uh, come into the uh, the members area here, the portal, uh, this is where you'll find these uh, resources. All right, uh, it's under this education tab here. Uh, click on this link here uh, for the um, uh, a link to all of the recorded webinars. All right, so this webinar will be up there as well. Uh, and then uh, if you can see the one from Friday here. And uh, after uh, today, if you want to watch Fridays, click on the upper left-hand corner here. Uh, and you can see there's a drop-down of all these previous webinars. Okay, for example, we gave one uh, on the 23rd on Thursday uh, to the oil trading group. Okay, it was hosted uh, outside of bookmap.com. Uh, and um, uh, and then you can also see the uh, the webinar series that we had uh, last week um, or a, a week ago um, with um, uh, a bunch of other traders that were invited to present uh, here uh, during this time. Uh, we had uh, Mete um, on Monday. We had uh, FT71 on Tuesday. Uh, we had uh, Ferran Font Romental on uh, Wednesday. On Thursday, we had Jason Love from the Oil Trading Group, uh, and then Friday we had uh, Daniel Skalak. Okay, so uh, uh, please uh, uh, watch those. Uh, this was a great series uh, with um, real traders, how um, they're using Bookmap in their style. Okay, that's what's in, that's what's key here, uh, and that'll that'll be what what's helpful here. Uh, I'm going to go through, and we're going to read the order flow. Uh, however, I'm not going to dictate any sort of specific style uh, or setup or anything like that. If you're looking for that, these webinars will help you, okay? Uh, and then, uh, uh, let's see, the other videos here, I want to uh, uh, encourage you to watch as many of these as you can, these video snippets. So click on this link here, uh, and uh, very short, concise videos, they're uh, just a few minutes each. And uh, they go through the phenomena that we can see here in the uh, in the order flow, uh, and then you will look at your specific levels and your style of trading, uh, and then how Bookmap gives you insight to the order flow at those areas. Okay.
Omaira, you were not able to see the uh, the, the webinars? Okay, uh, they should be in there. Uh, there should be a link that um, uh, there might there might be it might be a text link um, and just click on the uh, recorded webinars. You, you'll see it in there. All right. Uh, okay. So if you have any any questions uh, for us, uh, reach out at support at veloxpro.com. Okay. Uh, and then. Um, Let's get into the, the presentation. Okay, so learning the order flow with bookmap. Why order flow? Uh, well, you're, you're going to want to look at uh, what exactly uh, the market is telling you on the microstructural level um, at your specific levels of interest. So we'll look at some higher time frames first. Okay, regardless of how you trade, if you're if you get an indicator um, uh, signal uh, and it's telling you to buy, it, well then you want to look at the book and see what it's telling you. You're going to gain insight. Uh, to those areas, and it's going to um, uh, maybe uh, uh, make you uh, second guess uh, at those points and just say, no, this is not what I'm looking for at this level. I'm going to pass on this trade. Uh, and uh, that's going to give you tremendous insight at, the, at those levels. Okay? Uh, and we'll go through that. We'll see uh, how they're supporting price uh, on uh, breakouts or, or not. Uh, and you'll, you'll be able to read it very, very quickly uh, in Bookmap. Okay, uh, and that's going to allow you to to not only um, uh, validate uh, your signals, uh, but then to uh, pinpoint entries and exits uh, as well as your your trade management. All right, so let's take a look at some higher levels. We're going to look at the ES, and uh, we're going to start here just with a daily chart, uh, and uh, you can see uh, just a continuation to the upside here, uh, and. Um, uh, also, also today too, uh, we we see uh, yet again a continuation to the upside. Okay, uh, and now let's uh, jump down to 30 minute. Okay, uh, and uh, what is this telling us? Okay, so I'm just going to outline some specific areas. Right, uh, so we have something to gauge. Okay, so this is uh, uh, just something uh, I, I I do in general. So we have an area to look at to see what the order flow is going to look like at these areas. I'm using just simple horizontal lines and trend lines. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, here at uh, 930, this is the, the, the cash open, the candle here. Well, we had initial move to the downside and a lot of buying coming in in this area here. Okay, so from this area 61 on up, uh, and you can see the follow through uh, to the upside and they found the sellers up here and this was from the overnight session, okay, from uh, 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 last night and uh, it looks like maybe uh, Sunday as well. Okay, so uh, I am interested in what the order flow looks like at some of these levels up here. Uh, and um, yeah, I, we, we had previously a line here uh, down at this 59 area. So some, some pretty strong buying. They didn't even come down to that area. They, they started buying uh, immediately before that, okay, at 61. So that's, uh, that's showing us something already. Okay, so let's take a look at the book uh, and see what it's telling us here. Okay, you can see here with uh, 5.0 uh, bookmap beta version, uh, we have a uh, indicator panel uh, in the uh, in the sub panel here, sub chart, uh, as well as this little widget panel that gives me the output and numeric value of uh, my uh, cumulative volume delta. Now we're just demoing this right now, uh, or it's it's a, a beta version to show you uh, our new Bookmap API. All right, so you can you can uh, program uh, and import uh, custom indicators into Bookmap now. Uh, you can write them yourselves. It's Java based, uh, and um, uh, you can also write your own trading strategies. Okay, that's under this button up here, uh, the API add-on configurations. Okay, click on that. You'll see the uh, button here for volume, uh, cumulative volume delta, and the settings here. We can go over this uh, a little bit later, uh, but um, I just want to point that out. And uh, then I also want to point out these these uh, trading automated trading strategies. Okay, now these are not available um, for a live funded account. It's available uh, in the live market, but when it when it's um, uh, simulated only in Bookmap. Okay, so uh, if you're a Ninja user, uh, we, we can't um, uh, actually mimic that um, uh, simulated uh, by bookmap only, so uh, you can only use it in, uh, in replay mode. 
Okay, so just please note that. Um, and um, uh, let's see here. The uh, uh, well, well, we'll go through these. Uh, maybe uh, uh, we have uh, all week to go through uh, some of the uh, trading strategies in the cumulative volume delta. Well, but let's just start with the the basics here. Okay, uh, and what are we looking at in Bookmap? All right, and uh, actually before that, I think there was one more resource here. Did not go through. If you want to give Bookmap a try and you want to follow along in these webinars, uh, this is where you can find it. It's under this pricing tab. Uh, click on the, um, uh, if you want to try a demo here, you get it for 14 days. Okay, so it's uh, completely free. Uh, and um, uh, see if you like it. All right, and you can follow along in these webinars. And you can see the two prices that are available uh, for basic and for advanced. They are um, subscription based. Uh, build quarterly, but uh, monthly price is 49 and 99 for the advanced. Okay, the advanced can, uh, uh, has all of these uh, um, uh, add-ons and the uh, capability to trade from the bookmap chart as well. The one-click trading here. Okay, all right. So um, uh, that's. Uh, I would encourage you to to try the. Um, uh, uh, at least the, the trial so you can follow along uh, and uh, it's, if you, see if this works for you or, or not. It's, it's really, uh, it's up to you, okay? Uh, but uh, we, we think that uh, uh, you, you give it a try, you'll, you'll start to see the markets in a very different light here, all right? So let's start with that. What are we looking at in Bookmap, all right? So there's a lot of, it looks like there's a lot of information here, a lot of data. Okay, uh, it really isn't. It's actually uh, very, very straightforward here, uh, and a very objective and uh, transparent view of the marketplace. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn off the volume dots here and the heat map settings. Okay, and uh, now we can really simplify this. Okay, there's three sections we're looking at here in Bookmap. Okay, this view here is all historical, all right? This view here, this, this uh, vertical uh, rectangular window uh, is the current market, all right? We can see the best bid and offer right here with these dashed lines, and then this number here is the last traded volume. Then you can see your price ladder here on the ES, and then you see these columns here, okay? The columns, uh, well, let's go hover over the um, uh, top of the, um, uh, well, the title here, it says current order book, COB, okay? This is your depth of market in book map, okay? So this is your dome, all right? Uh, and um, uh, this is your, uh, your depth here on the bid down to this white line, okay? And then here's your depth on the offer up to this white line, okay? And then you can see the best bid and offer right here. All right. Uh, the other column I have right to the right of it here is another uh, current order book uh, column. However, this is just a graphical representation of the numbers here uh, in the book. All right. So we can very quickly point out areas of high liquidity by looking just at the bars. Okay. Uh, these columns you see over here, the CVP and the SVP, these are just um, their volume profile columns uh, and um, uh, there's all sorts of different um, columns and configurations. We can look at traded volume. We can look at uh, actual number of trades. Uh, we can look at quotes that were refreshed, and we can look at the, the delta of quotes, uh, the change of the quotes, right? Uh, as well as custom note uh, columns. Okay, so there's all, all sorts of things in here. If you want to know more about that, just right click here, and uh, you can see. Um, well, we can format this column. We have some other settings for session accumulated and um, chart range. Uh, but uh, you can see, and you can reset those as well, but you can see all the different kinds of data here, okay? Current order book, volume, uh, trades counter, quotes counter, et cetera, okay? So that's just right click in here and that, that'll get you set up. Uh, Robert, uh, what's the white line on the uh, uh, on the profiles, yeah, this is, this is it's not the POC, uh, it's your VWAP, okay? And it's probably gonna be more or less the same. Um, uh, 
Okay, I see Jim. Uh, would it be too much to ask? Maybe sometime you can look at the NQ and give some thoughts. Doesn't uh, have to happen today. Yeah, sure. We can look at the NQ uh, perhaps another day. Uh, I don't even have that market uh, loaded here. Okay. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's no problem. Um, okay, so let's let's uh, simplify this. What we're looking at in book map here. Okay, so we got our columns. We got our current market window here. And we have our historical best, best bid and offer. That's all we're looking at here. It's just historical best bid and offer. All right. Uh, and um, no candlesticks. It, we're not time based like that. Um, uh, it's not a, a, a certain time configuration. Uh, or or uh, we're, we're not tick based either. Uh, you know, there's no sort of. Um, uh, uh, action that's taken once it once a tick occurs there's no accumulation uh, it's a streaming market uh, and uh, we're recording every single event down to the nanosecond okay uh, so historical view just best bid and offer right now okay let's uh, turn on the volume dots okay now we're just looking at traded volume on the historical best bid and offer and that's it Okay. You can see that this is very much like a footprint chart because you can see where the volume is trading, uh, the size, uh, how much, what type it is. Okay, If it's red, it's an aggressive market sell. Uh, if it's green, it's an aggressive market buy. You'll notice that these pie displays here, uh, it's a combination of buying and selling, but we're still giving you the overall delta. You can see that in this little spike to the downside, it's the ma majority of it is selling, okay? More than three quarters of it is gonna be selling, all right? So that's very much like your, your footprint chart, all right? Okay, so that's just uh, best bid and offer with added, uh, the, the addition of volume, okay? Now we're going to turn on the heat map, okay? Okay. Now this grayscale heat map, now it's getting, uh, uh, it looks a lot busier. It's actually very, very simple, okay? What we're doing book map, and I'm gonna zoom in here, okay? We take areas of high liquidity from the limit order book, okay? And we turn it into, in the live market window, um, uh, this, these areas of high liquidity uh, are, are now um, uh, given a graphical representation in the heat map. Okay. So we know very bright areas are high liquidity. Okay. And you'll see that, that these, uh, these areas here, uh, they will um, uh, add and pull liquidity, and these areas will get brighter and darker uh, as they're adding and pulling liquidity. Okay. The numbers will change, and at the same moment, the heat map will change. Okay. Uh, and there's a configuration button here that uh, we can show. Uh, let me just bring up the brightness a little bit and you'll see the distinctions here. Now, it's a little too noisy for me, but uh, just for this demo, I want to show you uh, these areas of the, of the scale in the heat map, okay? So you get an idea of what's going on, okay? These numbers change and the heat map changes. Now, where this gets really interesting is we record this data, okay? And then project it onto the chart historically. Okay, so these areas here, notice these striations in the, in the heat map. That's the adding and pulling of liquidity, right? They, uh, they come into the market, uh, they add, uh, and then they, it starts to get a little darker here, they're pulling liquidity, and then they add back in as it gets brighter. Okay, and this goes on all day long, okay? However, uh, that, that's great, but you know, maybe that's not so helpful. Um, uh, that's why you'll need to use the, the uh, contrast configurations tool here. Okay, just click on that, and um, uh, let's bring up the white cutoff. Okay, and uh, maybe the, uh, the the black cutoff will bring that up a little bit too. Okay, and I'm going to bring down the brightness. Okay, now I'm getting a heat map. Let's bring up maybe the uh, large large size here just a little bit. Okay, all right. Now this is giving me a heat map that. I, I can read and I can use for my style of trading, okay? It really depends on, on you. There's no one setting and it's, and it's not set and forget. Uh, because, and the reason being is that uh, all of a sudden you might see 2,000 contracts come in here, 
Okay, and uh, that's going to uh, uh, make the scaling here in the heat map different. Okay, but all you need to do is just click on this uh, tool here and just tweak it a little bit. All right, and uh, and you'll be fine. Okay. All right. So uh, now uh, we can take a look and we can start to understand the auction and the intent of the traders, not the transactions that took place, but the actual auction where where they were bidding and offering and why for example uh you know i was looking at my higher time frame earlier okay let's go to that okay i was kind of anticipating them to come down here to the 60 level okay 5960 area okay and they didn't why is that okay well this is why here's here's your answer right here okay look at look at the the depth of the market here in the book Okay, these traders meant business. Okay, they wanted to get filled at these areas with high liquidity. Okay, we can use this data tip tool and we can roll over these areas and we can start to see. Notice how, like, uh, we okay, so and I use this tool here. In fact, let me zoom in. I'm going to click on the hand tool, hover over this area, and we're going to just use a center mouse wheel to scroll in. Okay, now this data tip tool, uh, it shows us um, the, uh, uh, the date the time, and then what was on the bid at this price level, okay? So over here, there's 1,200 contracts. Now there's 1,300. And as I scroll forward here, or move forward, they're adding more and more liquidity in as price is coming down, okay? So that means that they want to buy, all right? In fact, they got very aggressive here, and they, they uh, even added um, uh, very, very high liquidity a few ticks above these guys here. Okay, all right, so we can see that uh, liquidity here was uh, uh, over 1,300 contracts at 61, okay. Here's our 60 and a half, uh, and they had almost 1,600 contracts, okay. A little bit lower, a couple ticks lower, uh, they're adding in as well, uh, 1,300 contracts, okay. So we know, and from this behavior, they want to buy, all right. Uh, the sellers could take them on, but, you know, they didn't. Uh, and uh, uh, they were supporting price at this level uh, and wanted to be buyers here, and, and price veered away from it. Okay, And uh, that is the reason why we didn't come down into our level at 60. Uh, these guys were kind of front-running that level. All right. Okay, so, um, okay, I know that's a lot of information. Uh, but, um, uh, and I'll get into this uh, a little bit more, uh, just to, uh, to simplify things here. But first, uh, let, let's um, uh, go back to the presentation here, and I want to uh, go over um, the order flow here. All right, so we looked at our higher levels. We're looking at our, our microstructure now, but let's, let's read that that area okay we're gonna we're gonna show up every day here to the marketplace to the auction okay and we're gonna the first three questions that we want to know about this auction is where are the big the big buyers and sellers okay that is the current configuration of the book okay where are they all right and um, uh, and then we want to understand how do they behave when price approaches them at these areas Okay, and then we're going to read the tape. Okay, the transactions. All right. So uh, you know we were reading this area here. Uh, this was, and we know this is high liquidity uh, because it's, it's bright white. Okay, compared to the other areas around it, and we can see how the market behaved uh, into that area. Uh, and um, uh, where were they on the uh, on the offer? Well, this is kind of kind of interesting stuff here. Uh, they were actually pretty pretty aggressive uh, in this area here, uh, and a lot of that a lot of that got filled. It got absorbed. Uh, you can see the the um, uh, transactions taking place here, on, and these these green dots, these flurries of activity here with green, right? There's a lot of buying in here, okay, uh, and um, uh, and that that pulled the market up. Now we get a retest right down a little bit below uh, this little. Uh, kind of flurry of activity here, uh, and it rejected out of that area and then went back up to the upside. Okay, but uh, we're just um, uh, looking at the um, 
the buyers and the sellers, okay? And who, where where are they lining up to trade, all right? Just like uh, uh, showing up at any auction, okay? So let's look at the current book, all right? And what is that telling us, okay? If I zoom in a little bit here, well, we're coming down and we're testing uh, the buyers here at 65 and a half right now, okay? That is the current configuration, okay? Where are the sellers, okay? Well, they're, they're up here and they're starting to pull uh, but uh, they were up here at 67 and three quarters. Okay. Now we're going to answer that second question very um, uh, objectively here. How are these guys behaving at 65 and a quarter here? Well, clearly they're staying in the book, right? Now they just they just pulled a bit, right? There they are. Now we now a lot of that just traded here. We can see, okay. Uh, they took them on and uh, they provided that high liquidity. But look how they stayed in the book here. Look at the transactions that took place in here. Okay, And it wasn't that many. Uh, we see very little, you know, uh, uh, red dots here. Not not too many, right? Uh, in fact, they, they took them on a, a, a little bit lower here. Okay, a tick, a tick lower. Uh, but um, uh, so we're answering that second question. How do they behave as price approaches them? Okay, and they stayed here. Okay, and then they pulled a little bit, and and you know just uh, one tick below, but it traded. Now, um, so that answers our that answers our second question. Okay, of how they behave at these areas, and, and um, uh, we know that they wanted to buy. Okay, and they stayed in the book. Okay, so uh, now, now look at the aggressive sellers here. Now they're starting to pop in. We were looking up here at 67 and three quarters. Uh, now they're at uh, 67 and below. All right. And what about, are they going to defend this area, the buyers? Are they still interested in buying at this level? Well, not, not. Uh, we're starting to see them starting to um, pop back into the book a little bit here. All right. But uh, uh, it, was, it wasn't like before. Okay. Now they're starting to get interested, but they're getting interested as price is going away. And then these sellers here, they're pulling. Okay. The the buyers, I mean this the bulls can have the run here if they want. Right? Uh, they can just uh, uh lift the offer up into higher liquidity. Right? But um they're not uh, not quite getting it right now. All right. Okay. So uh, that answers the first two questions, uh, showing up to that marketplace and uh, reading the, uh, the intent of, uh, well, first off, where are they uh, in the book, the, the, the larger buyers and sellers? Uh, and then secondly, um, how are they behaving as price approaches them? Okay? And we're answering those questions. Okay? So we know that they're buying in these, in these areas here around 65. Okay, doesn't mean that, uh, uh, you know, it, it can't continue on and trade to the downside here at, at all. Uh, uh, we can see a flip of the book. We can see the aggressive sellers. Uh, uh, they can uh, 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 really hit the bid hard down below that area. And then you, you might see these uh, uh, these buyers here on the uh, on the bid at the 65 and 3 quarters area flip and be on the uh, on the offer. Right. That's a possible scenario here. Okay, we see it all the time, uh, but we're just getting insight um, uh, to the current the current auction. Okay, uh, now the third question, and this is con considered the uh, uh, traditionally the, the tape reading. Okay, uh, is the transactions? Okay, where are the transactions taking place? Uh, the volume, where is it trading? Uh, how much? Uh, and uh, and start to get a feel for. Uh, where where they really want to deal because uh, the, the volume in the end is, is showing you the transactions and uh, uh, you know that that can't be uh, pulled uh, like liquidity can okay uh, but uh, you know it's a combination of things here uh, the uh, uh, understanding the limit order book uh, has a tremendous impact on price okay as we can see here, I mean, this 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 wasn't really a level uh, earlier, okay? Uh, but it was though uh, due to the uh, um, 
uh, the liquidity here. And that, this was the story here, okay? And that's how it can help you uh, give insight to your areas, all right? Okay, all right, so um, uh, reading the tape here. Okay, well, we can see here in the 9.30 open, the volume uh, really picks up. Uh, we have an initial move to the downside, and we saw them supported at a higher area here, uh, and we can see the, um, uh, the aggressive uh, buying that came in, and um, uh, we made highs here from this, this little swing from the open, and uh, uh, we, got, we got a retest here, but uh, uh, they came right back in. Uh, and and pulled pulled price up to the upside. Okay, so I'm just going to use a few simple. Um, you can draw on the chart now in uh, in Bookmap 5.0. Okay, and uh, just look at some simple um, uh, lines uh, yet again here. Okay, for uh, just for our book map. All right, a horizontal line. Uh, we can see that uh, this is kind of a flip of the book as well. Okay, we 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 started to we traded through this area. It's pretty sloppy. But uh, we traded through this area around uh, uh, 60, between 65 and 66, and we're we're back now testing that area to see if those buyers are still here. Okay. All right. So in that flip of the book that I'm talking about, well, here they were on the offer and they pulled right back at this area here. Let me get back to my arrow. Okay, at this area here. And they started pulling as price is coming up. Okay, so you know we don't we don't see uh, the transactions taking place here. But now they were on the offer, and now they're kind of supporting it. You know, much much later though, uh, uh, back in here at this area at uh, uh, 65 and a half, 65 and, and three quarters, 65 and a half. Okay, all right. So uh, uh, well, we'll see now. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the auction. What's going on here? Let's see, Christopher. You can't see the same iceberg orders as I. Um, yeah, it, you know the the iceberg detector. Uh, it's this red number uh, Christopher is talking about, uh, and it's in the current current order book bars column here. And um, uh, what what this number is showing here? Uh, this is one of the add-ons for the advanced uh, book map version is um, it, it's showing liquidity that traded uh, that wasn't in the book, okay? So let's say on the offer here, um, you know, you see this uh, uh, 341. Well, in, in that area here, there was uh, 341 contracts traded that was not in that limit order book at that moment, okay? Now, you have to be, this is kind of tricky, uh, iceberg detector. Uh, it, it really depends on how uh, uh, the um, the orders uh, come into Bookmap. It's it's a very you know simple algo uh, in Bookmap, uh, but uh, it, it what really matters is the uh, uh, the um, the data of of how and when it hits the book, right? Uh, and uh, you you might uh, uh, get uh, varying numbers between. Uh, uh, different data um, providers, uh, even from the same provider from just different areas, uh, and um, uh, even from the same area and the same data provider with different machines. Okay, so it's uh, it's not uh, you're not going to see exactly the same things here. Okay. Yeah, uh, Chris, you want me to continue on with the uh, imbalance indicator as well? Okay, uh, no problem. Um, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, and uh, the the uh, the imbalance add-on indicators are up here. Okay, uh, you see the book imbalance and volume imbalance. All right. What this is showing here is uh, we'll start with this the volume imbalance because that's easy. Uh, the volume imbalance is showing just it's just a calculation of the volume here. Uh, who's who's the aggressor? Who's winning out overall? Okay, and you can see it's flat right now. Okay, and we're going sideways. You know, so it doesn't uh, uh, makes rather you know good sense. Okay, now it's important to note that both book imbalance and volume imbalance work for the chart range. Okay, so if I zoom in, I'm going to now have a new calculation here, and we can see it's plus three. 
right? If I zoom in more, now it's negative 11, okay, because we see the selling that's just come in, all right? So uh, if you want to study a specific range of that volume, uh, you can uh, zoom out and just put that range in your, uh, in, your, in your view. Or you can click on the hand tool, okay, and we can uh, use the center mouse wheel to scroll in and put that range within our historical view here. And we can see that there was a little more buying than selling here, okay? Okay, buyers are still, now we've got a little, a little more information here now. Okay, from the, the open uh, swing low here, we have our trend line. We also have our flip of the book here. Okay, now we want to read what the what the book is telling us here uh, in these areas. And they're they're on both sides right now. And we're we're between like a you know basically a two point range uh, at the moment. Okay. Okay, here come the sellers. Okay. And uh, the buyers are are pulling here, but you know. Uh, I, I still think you're going to find buyers here. Uh, I think that uh, you might see a little bit of spoofing type of action. And what do I mean by that? Uh, well, it could be something similar to this right here. Okay, uh, Showing very, very high liquidity very quickly, but uh, then they jump out of the book as price approaches them. Okay, So do they really have the intent to trade like these guys down here? No, they didn't. Uh, we can. This is why we're answering that second question. Right, so we're so we're starting to get a feel for this right now. All right, uh, we're starting to get a feel for uh, uh, the intent of these traders at these levels. Right, uh, they wanted to trade here and they did. Okay, these guys here they pulled their liquidity. All right, now the, the it was wide open for the for the buyers. Okay, uh, but uh, look at the the volume that traded up in this little area up here. Okay, very very little. Okay, so these are points of exhaustion where the market uh, doesn't find anyone that, that wants to trade at this at this area here at uh, 66 and a half. And we fall back down into our, our higher volume node. All right, All right so uh, yeah, now it's getting interesting here. I think, um, well, let's see if we, uh, let's see if we get uh, maybe some of that spoofing type of action again here, All right? I, I'd like to see that. Uh, I'd like to see them uh, uh, get very aggressive here. I'd like to see these guys pull, but uh, maybe we see then a lot of icebergs go off down and down below 65 here, and we reject out of this area, and the buyers come back in, and then we we uh, uh, advance again to the upside. Okay, that's a possible scenario. Right? We'll just look at the order flow here, and, and it'll give us insight to what's going on. Okay, or maybe they'll just get really aggressive here. Uh, another possible scenario. Uh, they uh, uh, will they'll stay in the book like they did before uh, and um, uh, you know will they'll get filled and uh, uh, maybe we'll uh, uh, continue on up to the upside now let's read this though and read the intent here how, how this is a little more bearish here they're providing liquidity at lower levels here than uh, than before here okay so this was just uh, uh, you know 12 minutes ago Right, so you can see that they they got filled in these areas here. Now we're we're a tick or two lower, uh, and now they're getting filled down in these areas here. Okay, uh, is this is again they they're getting filled, right? So let's see if the aggressive buyers come in now. All right. I'm sorry, I kind of uh, deviated from the book imbalance and volume imbalance, but um, uh, you understand the volume imbalance. The, the book imbalance is the same thing, except it's not about volume at all. It's about the liquidity, okay? And it also works on the uh, chart range, okay? Now, there's some settings for it. You'll find uh, all the uh, add-on settings under here, under the uh, configuration uh, button, uh, or studies configuration. And uh, here's your volume imbalance, and here's your order book imbalance. Okay, so you can limit the levels to calculate in the book. Okay, and you can also uh, have them uh, weighted a specific way. Okay, so um, I'm not going to get into the, those settings um, right now. Uh, take a little little bit of a discussion. Okay, I've got a few more questions here, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, Benjamin, I, I, you'll need to um, uh, let me know about uh, your your data um, provider. Uh, who's it? Uh, who are you getting your data from? Okay, you only see four um, icebergs. And let's see, you have two different data platforms. Dividing data between two different platforms for the same provider. Um, no, that, that should be fine. Uh, shouldn't, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, rhythmic, okay. Um, yeah, no, like, like I said, you're just gonna, you're just gonna see different, um, uh, you're gonna get, I mean, this is, this is, let me show you why this is so specific uh, and why it matters, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, we got kind of a, a, a little bit of a, um, uh, it, like I said, this was a little more bearish here, so that I think we, we, might, we might see the sellers come back in, uh, but uh, uh, if we look in here, uh, we can see that, um, uh, buyers are now starting to uh, to jump back in and, and they're taking it to the top of the range here. Now we need to get up above uh, if we want to continue because we are in this a slight downtrend here, right? Uh, we need to we need to get above some of these swings. Okay, we need to get up into some of these areas up here where they're providing high liquidity, right? And uh, here's our spike below the uh, the trend line. Okay, we're looking at that. Okay, uh, we're seeing them get filled uh, below the trend line as well. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm still looking for uh, you know these areas up here to get tested, and uh, then I want to see if we start to accept, uh, and maybe we get a flip of the book up in these areas up here. All right, so that's what I'm looking for, uh, and that's just you know there's a, a few other scenarios that might unfold. It's Monday, uh, we might just uh, you know uh, channel back and forth here for a while. But uh, uh, just reading the book and putting together some very simple pieces, uh, I'm looking for some of this higher liquidity to get tested. All right. Um, let's see. Go back to – ah, yeah. Okay. So I want to zoom in here, and I want, I want to show this. Okay. So you're going to see as you start to zoom in uh, how Bookmap is – It we're, we're starting to break apart uh, all of this trading activity. Okay. So note this little area here. Okay, there was a flurry of activity. It was too much to show uh, in this little area here, even with this zoom zoomed in to like 10 seconds here. There's so much trading in here that I, I can't show you each individual dot. So we, we've given you the overall delta of it, and we can see this majority of it's buying. Okay, if I hover over that area and I zoom in further, now we're starting to see what happens. Okay, now I'm zoomed into the millisecond level. Okay, and I can see, and it unfolds here, what exactly happened. Okay, we see our sellers come in first. We have a little bit of a pause, and then they, they started to um, uh, lift the offer here. You can see it, um, a little little flurry or cluster here, followed by another uh, round right afterwards, and then uh, a few larger trades after that as well. Okay. All right. And so... You know, when we start to zoom into these areas here, okay, and we can zoom in and continue to zoom in, right, down to these uh, these millisecond or uh, microsecond levels or nanosecond levels, uh, and um, and see every single event that took place, right. So that's that's why I say it. What it really matters. Uh, Bookmap just we display the data as it comes in through the, from the provider, okay. How it hits the book. At what time uh, there might be, um, you know, some sort of uh, lag or, uh, you know, something uh, that might be a little different uh, between uh, different machines, and therefore, you know, you might get a, a, a slightly different uh, reading on your, um, uh, on some of your add-ons. Okay, so we're getting very specific here, right? So that that's what I wanted to show. Okay, and also it's a good demo to to also show and display. Like how, even though we don't trade at these these levels like this, right? Uh, at these millisecond levels, but we can Bookmap is still is recording all that data, but it's making it still very very effective visually 
as you zoom out and you can understand what kind of occurred at some of these areas here. All right. Uh, Pablo, yeah, how can there be a red dot on the ask? Um, well, that that's uh, part of the um, uh, uh, lag, right? Uh, the, uh, the the bid and the offer, um, uh, that data comes in uh, a, a bit differently than uh, the, the traded volume. Okay, they come in, the, in, in separate data feeds. All right, that's in it. It's in the, the download uh, as well. Uh, let me show it to you. And then we got to wrap it up. I've been going for way too long here. Um, let's see. The uh, Let me show you the HFT guide. All right. So this is in that handouts folder I mentioned earlier. Okay, and I'm going to go down to the bottom here. Ah, okay. Here we go. Uh, on page 24, okay, uh, this is how HFT data is disseminated, okay, here's the exchange, here's you as a trader, okay, here's your quotes data that comes only one directional, uh, one direction here, uh, it, from it, via UDP and FIX, okay, that's your quotes data, okay, uh, that's your, your bid and your, your ask, all right, as well as uh, your, your depth, uh, and um, the trade data, though, that comes in and it's two ways, right? And it's via TCP, IP, and FIX, all right? Okay, all right, well, we did, we did, we did get a test up into this area here, just shy of this uh, high liquidity here, and we get another rotation down again, all right? Okay, so, um, uh, not not too decisive at all. Uh, so this uh, this uh, downtrend is still continuing here uh, to the downside. Right. Okay. Uh, Homaira, um, rhythmic uh, in NT7. Yeah, absolutely. Bookmap will work with that, and yeah, no no problem. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, well, there's, um, and we, we've gone through some of the order flow structure uh, here, uh, understanding the, you know, some of these areas of the, you know, that, that book flip, that, that high liquidity, um, and uh, uh, is it, are they offering it higher or lower? Okay, that, uh, that area that we were just we were covering here, for example. Um, you know they're getting filled in these areas here, right? And then uh, and then you can see that they, they want to provide liquidity a, a little bit lower, okay? And that's that's bearish, right? Um, uh, they they're not they're not as uh, aggressive as they were before, okay? They're looking for a better price, right? I'm surprised. I I, I thought we would have gotten a spike a little bit higher here, uh, maybe up into 67, but uh, uh, nope. Yeah, uh, that that'd be good, um, uh, Homaira. Just uh, yeah, uh, let us know. Uh, uh, absolutely, give it a shot. Uh, see see how it works for you. Um, and uh, uh, the um, uh, let let us know how it goes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, learning learning the order flow. Uh, again, I would encourage you to watch those video snippets. Uh, those are here under the um, education tab. Okay, uh, right, right here. Watch as many of those as you can, uh, and um, uh, use the replay mode. You can record your data here, uh, and use that replay mode and continue to to watch again and again. Right, that's how I learned uh, um, order flow uh, in Bookmap. Uh, and started, you know, to to, to put the pieces together and, and get the insight at these specific areas. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, if you want to give it a try, you can you can uh, give it that 14-day trial period here, uh, and you can see the pricing information as well. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming, and we'll catch up tomorrow.